Hey guys, so I'm going to do a what's in my bag video. I just filmed my June favorites and I showed my new bag and I realized I hadn't put it in a haul or anything so I may as well do a what's in my bag because I think it's been years since I did one of those videos. Um, I don't do one every time I change my bag because it's just repetitive but I will show you. My new bag is from Iron Fist. It has like this little chain strap which is actually pretty heavy and it's an oil slick shell with bones on it so I thought this was super cute I had wanted this for so long and then they had a big sale um, everything was 50% off so I got the bag and then it was like I got the matching wallet for free um, so we may as well do this it's not a very big bag so um, there's not a lot of stuff in here this is a receipt from KFC Taco Bell KFC Taco Bell receipt. Um, the inside of the bag just says Iron Fist and it's got like a little a pocket for your phone and then it has a zipper a zipper on this side like a little zipper pocket um, but we will get to that. So normally my phone is in there too. This is what it looks like. I just got this case for it for summertime because I my old case broke and I figured this was super cute for summer. It's like turquoise and pink. Alright, so what else is in here? My checkbook, which is just very plain. Um, I don't know why I even carry it with me because I never write checks unless it's to pay a bill or something, so... Um, I have my keys, which I just recently showed this in a haul video. My lanyard is the Myrmicorn design from Tokidoki. And it's got this, which is already getting bent. I don't know why I kept it on here. Um, normally, like, when I used to work retail, I had one of these so that I could have, like, my, my employee card thing in here. Um, but I really have no use for that thing now. <laughs> and then I have a cleaver keychain. We got this in one of the horror blocks. And I have Backstreet Boys from the Millennium Tour. I found this when I was cleaning and I was like, this is totally going- oops, it's upside down. This is totally going on my keys. And then it's just got them jumping on the back. Um, and then that's it. I've got- this is the, the keychain that came on it. This is the key for our car, um, house keys, yes, so that is what's on my keychain. Um, my wallet, which is so big that it kind of doesn't fit well in this purse, so that's the only kind of bummer about having the matching pur purse and matching wallet, but we have this trying not to show anything in here. This has a bunch of cards like my insurance card, my social security card, nobody needs to see any of this. Gift cards for Target, GameStop, and then I have some left over on the JCPenney one. Um, I got my VIB Rouge for Sephora, my Stop and Shop card, my Ulta card, uh, my Bloomingdale's credit card, the Mac Pro card, um, ATM card, which I never use because our bank doesn't, our bank is a pain in the butt with ATM, like you can't just use that as your, you, you get a debit card and then an ATM card and you never end up using the ATM card for anything. Um, my Sephora Beauty Insider card, which I don't think I need to keep this anymore because I have the VIB Rouge one now, I don't know, then the... VIB Rouge All Access Beauty Studio Pass, the Spencer's Pierce Nation thing, which I don't even know if they do this anymore, buy six pieces of Body Rage body jewelry, get one free, and then the Kohl's Yes To You Rewards. So it's basically like rewards cards and stuff in this little section. Then I've got this. <laughs> this is the inside of the wallet with my license and everything. Um, there's a good amount of space in this wallet, like you have this whole thing for cash, which I never really carry cash on me. I have Kohl's, of course, have to have a Kohl's card. Now the neighbor is going to mow their lawn. 
had all day to do this. <laughs> um, children's Place. This is a must because I get the majority of Aiden's clothes from the children's place. I just, they have super cute stuff for awesome prices. Um, then I got Walmart, my Visa card, my Discover card, my debit card, and then my license, which I'm sure you all want to see my license picture, which I will show because it's so much better than what my last one was. When I got married and had to change my last name, I jumped on the, uh, the chance to go change my picture. I can get it out of here. My cheeks are all rosy red because it was super hot that day, but that is my license picture. <laughs> so that's pretty much all that's in my wallet right now, um, especially since I just switched it over so it's nice and clean. I don't have like a bunch of receipts and randomness in here like I usually do. There's a super long tag that I thought was a receipt. This is stuck to the inside of the uh, inside. I have a pen. I always need a pen when I go grocery shopping to cross off stuff on my list. Um, I have this little thing that has more rewards cards. Um, these are ones I don't use that much. We've got Toys R Us. We've got the Green Day All Ages Fan Club, which doesn't even exist anymore, so I don't know why that's in here. The Spencer's Underground. I don't think that exists anymore either. Get rid of that. <laughs> The Ikea family card, which I don't even know what the point of this is because you never get anything when you buy stuff there. Um, the Hot Topic plus one. I don't, I think they still do this, but I order online most of the time. Um, my Best Buy reward zone. I have one for famous footwear. I don't know why because I literally bought shoes there once. Um, Big Lots, which I know these aren't everywhere. It's kind of like a... Uh, like a Kmart kind of and then my GameStop rewards card so that's all in, that's in here just rewards cards that I don't use all that much I don't even know why I have the GameStop rewards card it's Steven that uses it all the time um, alright so that's that then I have Aiden's phone we have like a little um, little phone that's just it's not activated to like make calls or anything I just have his little apps on here for when we go to restaurants and stuff because it keeps him entertained or waiting in the doctor's office um, then in the little zippered pouch I have a chapstick this is Aiden's because he constantly has chap lips I don't know what it is with that child but he's always licking his lips so he's always got chap lips um, I have Dramamine in a little carrying case this is Dramamine for kids because he gets motion sickness if we go any anywhere that takes longer than like 30 minutes to drive he'll get um, car sick that happened to me all the time when I was little I think it's something to do with sitting in the back seat instead of the front um, and then I have my mp3 player which is a Zune I refuse to get rid of this because it's still in perfectly good working order. I don't know why they stopped making these because I love it so much. Um, it works in the new car now so I can just plug it into the jack and it uh, plays all my music which is awesome because our other car didn't do that. You had to have like this stupid transmitter for the radio and then the music would come through all staticky. But yes, I'm totally... I guess I will just come out and say I'm not an Apple person at all, so anything I can do to not have to buy an iPod. Um, so yeah, that is everything that's in here. That's what the inside looks like. It just says Iron Fist in like graffiti writing. I really enjoy their bags. The bag I had before this was the Zombie Chomper one, and I have the matching wallet for that, which I had for years before I finally got the bag. Um, I don't know if they make that one anymore, but it's nice and big, so I used that as a diaper bag a lot. And now I can carry a smaller one, which is a lot easier, especially for the summertime. So, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed my what's in my bag video. It wasn't too exciting. It was nice and clean because I just switched um, bags. But, that's it, so I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll talk to you in my next video.